the creation of this uh, show? I'm uh, writer. Okay. Yep, just I wrote it with uh, Alex Alkin and uh, Seth McFarlane, who stars in the movie. Uh, and uh, yeah, we wrote it and went out, to shot it in New Mexico with him, and pitched jokes in ski goggles because it was so dusty and windy. But uh, yeah, so writer, producer. I guess they put my name on there as a producer for some reason. That's exciting. Right? I hear that there's a mag something magic happens when the three of you come together to write. Oh, where did you hear that? I did you just make that up? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Uh, Alex, I was talking about. Did Alex say that? Something magic? But he said it. Magic. I, I interpret it to magic. He said it sarcastically. No, no, not at all. <laughs> he didn't use the word magic. No, but no. I took it to next level. <laughs> not a no, not Alex. Alex. Borstein? Yeah. Oh, 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 Alec. Okay, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he wouldn't say that. No, he would not. <laughs> did you already see him? Did already okay, yeah, he's yeah, nasty. No, he <laughs> um, yeah, we have fun. We have fun. You know, yeah. Have you been working with Seth for a while then? Yeah, you know, we uh, we met a lot 12 years ago or something, and then when Family Guy came back and was resurrected uh, by Fox, we started there with him, and then we. Seth came up with the idea for Ted, and he was like, you guys want to write it with me? Uh, so we did, and uh, that worked out. And so, yeah, so we wanted to do the Western, the million ways, fun to write, you know. And uh, we just started Ted 2. Well, we didn't just start it. We're pretty deep into Ted 2, but yeah. Um, so what's it like to write a Western? Was that something different? It was, I had to do a little research, because, you know, I don't, you know, don't know much didn't know much about it, I guess. But yeah, just, you know, looked at old, like, period newspapers and stuff like that, tried to get a sense and a feel for it, even though it's, we tried to keep it authentic, except for, there's one scene that's completely, uh, you know, modern. But uh, the rest of it is, you know, we tried to keep it in line with 1882 or whatever, realistic, you know, in some ways. <laughs> um, and so if you were to describe to a friend or someone why they should go see this, what would you say? Uh, because it's just totally and completely irresponsible. It's irresponsible. I don't know. I don't, I don't know who <laughs> who would find this uh, an acceptable movie to see. Uh, I'm outraged by it personally. Uh, but it's it's yeah it's very. Um, it's we go pretty far. We push pretty far. <laughs> um, so if you want to see something where you're you're pushed, you know, go see this. If you if not, don't see it. Don't go. Yeah, right? 30, 40, how many years later? God, it's like, yeah, farther than I want to think about. But yeah, Blazing Saddles, awesome, so funny. Well, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very much. All yeah, right. yeah, enjoy your evening. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.